Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. Now in this part we will deal with the ternary diagram in which one component is melting congruently. Okay. This looks something like this. Okay. So here W. W is an intermediate between X and Y. Okay. And uh, this looks a very complex diagram but if you see it as a two triangle diagram of wyz and wxz this will become fairly easy to understand okay uh, as in the previous lecture we have seen triangle triangular composition with all binary eutectic we have to consider these two triangles just the same okay so let's see with an example okay consider the point a here okay this point okay this is the composition a at 1160 degree celsius and now the crystallization starts so as it cools it will move towards b as it moves towards b it will start precipitating z from a to b z will start precipitating now it reaches it when it reaches point b it will start moving towards e1 which is the eutectic so at b1 w will start uh, precipitating as it moves towards even so between in along B and even W will start precipitating now when it reaches even X will start precipitating okay so at even or at at, at at temperature less than even or less than 640 degrees Celsius there will be X plus W plus Z or all solid okay so this will be just this will follow just the same principle as the previous binary eutectic triangular diagrams now what of point m you see point m here this now crystallization of composition m which lies on the binary system of w and z here's this w and z now since this is a binary system only phase w and z will be found in the final crystallization product now thus crystallization will stop when the liquid composition reached point reaches point O this point starts from M moves in this direction reaches point O and crystallization stop and now this will be equivalent to binary eutectic in the system WZ this O point will be equal to binary eutectic or WZ system and final crystal will have only W and Z as crystals okay so and any composition in this diagram can again be solved according to uh, this triangular method as we have discussed earlier and in this triangle all the liver rule will apply and we can calculate all sorts of stuff percentage a percentage crystal percentage liquid everything okay so you just need to practice the questions okay and uh, if you don't understand you can ask me in the comments i'll try to clarify and uh, let's hope you <laughs> understood the concept behind this okay do you, you, you don't have to be scared of these diagrams it's fairly easy you just have to know in which directions the crystallization will move okay and this is a piece of cake okay so so this is for this video and the next video we'll see another form of ternary or the uh, ternary system in which a compound which will melt incongruently in case of you know, the product like we see in the peritectic system there was incongruent mel melting between phosphorite and enstatite similar we will see here okay so till then uh, keep revising and uh, try to make your own notes and please keep revising i always stress on this fact of revision so by revision it will just become so easy and you will become so confident about it that uh, even if the question is made more complex or something new is introduced or something which you have not done then uh, you can attempt it because of the background information or background practice you have done you know by solving questions by revise, revising okay so in order to encounter a question of different kind you have to be fairly strong in the basics and that will only come by revision so I think you, you have understood what I'm trying to say. So please keep revising and please mention in the comment how you're liking my efforts. Okay. 
so that's it for this video we'll see you in the next video okay bye for now subscribe to know your planet better